you remove the perforated edge now you fold it this is the first fold and then the second fold you're going to fold it one more time okay so fold it one more time and then you are going to bend it all right make sure you put a mark in the middle very important okay now of course this is half and this is half. now you're going to be folding it like this along the this red line okay and then you're going to be like so once you have the red line make sure you uh, you fold it on the red line so that make uh, that's very important you fold it on the red line so make sure you use the red or any other color but you, you're going to be folding it on the red line that's that's very important so it's, it's going opposite and and then you fold it again all right and this extra thing gonna go inside the pocket, all right? So, okay, so very nice. This is gonna go inside the pocket and make sure you, you make it as, as, as flat as possible, okay? And now this remaining uh, remaining side, of course, gonna go to the pocket over here. So again, I'm bending it opposite side, right? Opposite side and it's go come over here and it's gonna go to the pocket. So this pocket over here. So now I have a nice paper football. Now you're gonna fold it just like this. This is the last folding, all right? So now this is the folding, all right? So then you're gonna hold it like that and you wanna flick it. I have a cistern over here and here is the football. I'm gonna flick it. But before we flick it, what we have to do is we have to have a measure stick. So, because we're gonna collect the height. So you flick the football, make sure you have two things done. What are these two things? Well, number one, this tape on the floor. Uh, 210, 220, uh, 230. And number two, you need this ruler standing up on the wall, preferably in the middle, of the tape so you can measure the max height. All right, so height is 41.5 centimeter and range is 232 centimeters. Know that the flick football create the projectile motion and we know the range from, from here to here is of course, we measure it and 2.3 meter and from here to here, we also measure it, the height is 0 0.42 meters. Okay, so a few things we wanna find and number one, we want to find Vy. Number two, we want to find uh, maybe time. Number three, once we know this two, and then we'll be able to find Vx. Once we know this one and this one, we should be able to find uh, uh, velocity. So Vy is this one. Vx is this one. And Vxy is this one. And once we have this, uh, we will be able to find the theta. So this is the theta. You're gonna find the theta. Uh, number six, uh, this other thing we need to find first. Okay, so, and then of course we wanna find the elapsed time. Elapsed time would be this T 
times 2 and that would be the elapsed time. So let's get it started with the 1, this one. So how can you find that? Vf is squared is equal to Vi is squared plus 2ad, right? At the y component, of course, because we are using the height. So this is the height. So just dy, we're going to write height. Uh, Ay, we're going to write negative 10. And then Viy, okay? Uh, Viy, that's what you're finding. And Vfy is over here. Over here, Vf is equal to 0, right? At the y direction. Then we are finding uh, the time it takes for the ball to come from here to here, okay? Not the entire trip, but half of the trip. If we want it, if we if we get the half of the trip, we know the entire trip by multiplying it by two. So V I Y, that's what we are trying to find. Two times negative ten times four point two, of course, and then bring it to the this side. V I Y squared is equal to uh, negative two uh, times ten times point four two. Negative negative cancel. V Y is. Uh, uh, 2.9 meter per second so you update it 2.9 meter per second all right done okay now we can find the time time for okay so now you uh, 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 you find the time time from here to here okay and then we get a multiply by 2 to get the time for the entire trip so how can we do that so of course we're gonna use this formula VF is equal to VA plus AT at the y direction, y direction always gives us the time. F over here, we are using it's zero, so zero. So we know the time for the half trip, and then we're gonna multiply it by two to get the time for the full trip. So V I Y we already found it. So 2.9 minus 10 T. Alright. So then uh, if you if you divide this by so then uh, T is equal to 2.9 divided by 10. All right, so 0.29, time is 0.29, uh, 0.29, okay. So the elapsed time would be uh, 0.29 times two, and that would be the elapsed time, right? So this is step one, this is step two, step three. You're gonna find the Vx, how can you find the Vx? Uh, of course, D is equal to Vit plus half, a t squared. Now this time is going to be at the x direction. So then acceleration at the x direction is zero. So then v i x v i x is d x over t. So v i x d x is how much? D x is two point three. And the time is how much? Don't by mistake. Don't 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 find the time. Um, don't use this time. This this would be a mistake if you do use this time because we want to. Uh, uh, the range is for if you have to use the range you have to use the entire time elapsed time so how much is the elapsed time uh, 0 0.29 times 2 this is the elapsed time 3.9 meter per second so let's update it 3.9 meter per second all right now we can find four so step forward step forward v uh, is equal to or vxy is equal to is square root of vx square plus vy square. So vxy is equal to is square root of vx is how much? 3.9 plus vy is 2.9. So vxy is 4.9 meter per second. So this is 4.9. Meter per second. Uh, well, we're gonna find, of course, the angle. Okay, so to find the angle, let's first find the, the this one. This one is, of course, the Vx is 3.9 and Vy is 2.9. Okay, and this is the angle. We want to find the angle, this angle. So we know that tangent uh, theta is opposite of our uh, adjacent. Opposite is y, adjacent is x. So theta is uh, tangent inverse y over x. So tangent inverse y is how much? 2.9 divided by 3.9 and that gives you 37 degree. Now we're going to verify dx. So dx is range is v squared sine 2 theta over g. So range is v squared is how much? Uh, 4.9 squared. 
uh, sine 2 theta uh, 2 times 37 so 37 times 2 74 divided by 9.8 so range is 2.3 meter and is that right yes this is right excellent so uh, this is uh, the physics that I wanted to know for Tuesday